Good morning, Storytime friends. How are you doing today? Today, I am feeling very hungry. Are you hungry? Well, if you are, that's good because today we are going to be reading all about food. Food is amazing, isn't it? I love food. And there's so many different kinds of foods to eat. There's fruits, there's vegetables, there's meats, there's grains, there's milk and dairy. Mmm, and there's so many different meals you can make with all of those ingredients, right? You can make macaroni and cheese. What other food can you make, Storytime friends? Ooh, you are making me even hungrier saying all of those delicious meals. Mmm, that all sounds so good. What's your favorite kind of food? Mmm, those all sound really good too. I have lots of different kinds of food I like. I really like macaroni and cheese. I really like strawberries and mangoes. Mmm, I really like peas and carrots. There's so many delicious things, aren't there? Well, before we read about food and make me hungrier, let's go ahead and get our wiggles out first, shall we? I got the trusty ukulele, and I want all the story timers on their feet. Everyone on their feet. All right, are we ready? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Oh, it's sounding like applause today. Good clapping story time, friends. And if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. Is that thunder I hear? <gasps> no, it's just all the story time for stomping their feet. You all are ready for a story today, aren't you? If you're ready for a story, turn around. If you're ready for a story, turn around. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, turn around. I see some good circles. Are you getting dizzy? Oof, stop the circling, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did we get our wiggles out, story time friends? All right. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right. Nice job, story time friends. <laughs> Is everyone seated and comfortable? Comfy in their seats? If so, let's go ahead and read our first story today. <gasps> this is a silly story, isn't it? This is called Woodpecker Wants a Waffle, and it's by Steve Breen. Mmm, look at those waffles. I see butter and syrup on them. Oh, making me even hungrier. Woodpecker wants a waffle. One morning, Benny awoke to the best tummy rumbling smell. So he flew off to investigate. Where is Benny going to? What is this building right down here? Looks like a cafe or a diner, huh? It says grand opening. Moe's, home of the hot waffle breakfast. W-A-F-F-L-E, he read. What in the world is a waffle? Let's spell that together, story time, friends. W A F F L E. 
<gasps> what in the world is a waffle? The waffles smelled good. The waffles looked good. The waffles must taste good too, thought Benny. I want waffles, Benny declared. Do you want waffles, story time friends? Benny politely pecked on the front door. Tap, tap, tap. <gasps> but instead of waffles, he got the boot. Bap. Next, he tried to sneak in. Where is Benny now? He's on the woman's dress, that's right. See him down there? But instead of waffles, Benny got swept away. Flap! Poor Benny. Benny tried a number of creative disguises. Wow, those are all pretty creative, aren't they? What's your favorite? I think I like the fruit hat in the center. That's pretty cool. But instead of waffles, he was tossed in the trash. Swoosh. What are you doing? asked Bunny. I am wishing for waffles, said Benny. The animals started laughing. That is ridiculous, Bunny said. One by one, the other animals chimed in. Frogs don't eat fries, ribbit. Moose don't eat muffins. Raccoons don't eat ravioli. Lizards don't eat lasagna. Ooh, owls don't eat oatmeal. Bears don't eat bagels. Chipmunk don't eat cheeseburgers. Turtles don't eat turnovers. Hawks don't eat hot dogs. Skunks don't eat scones. Coyotes don't eat cupcakes. Snakes don't eat snow cones. And woodpeckers don't eat waffles. Well, why not? Benny asked. Why not? The animals grumbled, chirped, croaked, and whispered. They thought and thought and thought and thought. Because I said so, said Bunny. I really don't have time for this said so nonsense, Benny said impatiently. Benny got right to work devising a plan to get some waffle waffles. First, I will shoot out of a cannon. Poom! Then hit the ground juggling. Then moonwalk and breakdance, followed by a stand-up comedy act with a Broadway-style finale featuring fireworks. What do you think? Is Benny's elaborate plan to get waffles going to work? We're going to have to find out, aren't we? The animals were speechless, though Benny was sure he heard some snickering. See you all tomorrow. Don't be late. The next morning, the animals gathered in the field by the diner to catch Benny's big show. No one was late. No one except Benny. Hmm. What do you think, Storytime friends? Benny's late. Where could he be? I don't know either. As the animals waited patiently for Benny to arrive, the waitress in the diner noticed something odd. The customers noticed something strange too.
everyone at the diner stepped out to look at the animals. And that's when Benny made his move. What is Benny doing, Storytime friends? Sneaking into the diner when no one's watching. Sweet, said Benny. And that is Woodpecker Wants a Waffle. So what did Benny do to get a waffle, Storytime friends? He told all the animals he was going to put on a big show, right? With fireworks and cannons, break dancing. And then that's right, Storytime friends. All the animals came to watch. And then all the diners saw all the animals. So they went outside and stared at each other. But where was Benny? Eating his waffle. Sneaky little woodpecker, huh? That's a pretty fun story. I like that one a lot. Well, I hope you liked it too, Storytime friends. Oh, reading about all this food this week is making me so hungry. I have a whole bunch of food here, and I wanted your help telling me what it is and also what kind of food it is. So food has a name, and then we put food into a category like fruits, vegetables, dairy, meat, bread, that kind of thing. Do you want to do it with me, Storytime friends? All right, the first thing I have in my basket is a delicious thing that rhymes with my name. What is this, Storytime friends? That's right, it's a banana. Hannah banana. And what kind of food is a banana? It's a fruit. That's right, Storytime friends. Mmm, bananas on cereal, bananas with chocolate, Nutella, bananas with other fruit. Goes with lots of things, doesn't it? The next thing I have, hmm, I hold it like this and I eat it like this. What is this, Storytime friends? That's right, it's a chicken wing. And what kind of food is a chicken wing? It's a meat, that's right. It's the meat of an animal that some people eat. Yes, chicken wings are really good when they're fried. Mmm, those are really yummy, huh? It could also technically be a turkey wing. So turkey and chicken meat, meat often come like this. The next thing I have is... Now we can tell what this is because we have the words right there. Let's, let's read the words together. M, I, L, K. What is this story time, friends? That's right, it's milk. And what is milk? Milk is dairy. And lots of dairy products we also get from animals. So milk, you get milk from cow's udders. And actually, there's lots of different kinds of milk nowadays. Some people don't drink cow milk. Some people will drink milk like almond milk or oat milk. And that's where you take almonds or oats and you mix them with water and it makes something that looks and tastes like milk. Well, let's see, story time friends. You're pretty sharp. Let's see if I can give you a hard one. Do you know what this is? Hmm. It's green. Is it grapes? No, grapes are circular and round, right? What is this? This has hard, hard kind of uh, pieces on it that have are, are hard on the outside, but soft on the back end. And I like to eat this with butter and Parmesan cheese. That's right, this is an artichoke. Nice job, story time friends. This one's a little trickier. Sometimes we don't see this as often. And what kind of food is an artichoke? It's a vegetable, that's right. So you can eat the leaves that I was saying are hard. They'll be hard on this outside, but if you open them up on the back, there's some delicious softness on the back. 
And you can also eat artichoke hearts. And that's the very center of the artichoke. When you take all the leaves off is the artichoke heart. And that's really yummy. I like that in dips and in salads, all kinds of things. You are too smart, story time friends. You're getting all of them. Let's see. Let's try a couple more. Now this one's tricky. What is this story time friends? This is oatmeal. That's right. Now here's the tricky part. What kind of food is oatmeal? Hmm. Is it a meat? No. Is it a fruit? See, that's where it gets tricky. The oatmeal itself, all of this yellow kind of beige part, that's not fruit. But a lot of people add fruit into their oatmeal, like we see here where there's raspberries and blueberries. So we have fruit in our oatmeal, but what is oatmeal? Oatmeal is a grain. So oatmeal is a grain, it comes with like, it comes in really little tiny grains and then you make it warm, add some water and it turns into delicious oatmeal. All right, story time friends, let's do a couple more. Mm, one of my favorites. What is this story time friends? It's a strawberry, that's right. And what kind of food is a strawberry? It's a fruit. That's right. I gave you an easy one. All right, let's try a couple more tricky ones. Mm. Now, this is something I like to make. What is this story time, friends? I like baking this. That's right, it's a muffin. And what kind of food is a muffin? Hmm. It's a grain. That's right, story time friends. Just like oatmeal, a muffin is a grain. So anytime you have things like breads or rices, that kind of thing, those are all grains. So muffins are made from flour, eggs, water, sugar, mm, and then you bake them in the oven. I love baking. That goes along with cakes and breads, oh, croissants, cinnamon rolls, all those delicious yummy things. Well, let's try one more, shall we? I saved the best for last. What is this story time, friends? Oops, upside down. What is this? The best thing ever, cheese. That's right. Now, some people can't have dairy, which this is dairy, right? Because they're lactose intolerant, so they're allergic to it. But thankfully, I am not. So, cheese is a dairy, I gave you that answer. And what is cheese made out of? Lots of things, but cheese comes from our friend, milk. So cheese makers take milk and they add things to it to make it hard. And that makes all the delicious different kinds of cheeses we have, yum. If there was one thing I could eat forever, I think it would have to be cheese story time, friends. Well, did you see your favorite food in all of the different foods that I had there for you? If not, tell me what your favorite food is again. But this time, also tell me what kind of food is it is. Is it a grain? Is it a meat? Is it dairy? Is it a fruit? Or is it a vegetable, okay? Tell me what it is. Very nice story time, friends. I am hearing all kinds of delicious things. I think we have a whole feast for us with all of your different foods. All right, well, let's go ahead and read our second book about food today, okay? This one is a very sweet story called The Sandwich Swap. And this is with Kelly DiPucci, and it's illustrated um, by Trisha Tusa. And the main author is Her Majesty Queen Reina Al Abdullah. The Sandwich Swap. And thanks to Disney Hyperion for letting us read this today. Mmm, sandwiches are a good kind of food, aren't they? I love sandwiches. It began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Do you like PB&J, friends? 
and ended with a hummus sandwich. Do you like hummus sandwiches, friends? Mm, I like both. Selma and Lily were best friends at school. They drew pictures together. That's a nice picture. See what they drew together? They played on the swing together. They jumped rope together. And they ate their lunches together. Let's see if we can find some food in this, in this picture story time, friends. I see an orange. What else can you find? I see an apple, that's right. A carrot. And I think some sandwiches. But just what they ate was a little different. Lily ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for lunch. Salma ate a hummus and pita sandwich every day for lunch. And although Lily never said it out loud, she thought Salma's sandwich looked weird and yucky. She felt terrible that her friend had to eat that icky chickpea paste every day. Ugh, yuck. And although Salma never said it out loud, she thought Lily's sandwich looked strange and gross. She felt awful that her friend had to eat that gooey peanut paste every day. Ew, gross. Then one day, Lily just couldn't hold back those pesky thoughts any longer. Your sandwich looks kind of yucky, she blurted out. What did you say, Selma asked, thinking she must have understood her friend. I said, your sandwich looks yucky. Selma frowned. She looked down at the thin, soft bread, and she thought of her beautiful, smiling mother as she carefully cut Selma's sandwich into two neat halves that morning. Her hurt feelings turned mad. Yeah, well, your sandwich looks gross, and it smells bad, too, Selma snapped back. Lily looked surprised. She sniffed the thick, squishy bread, and she thought of her dad in his silly apron, whistling as he cuts Lily's sandwich into two perfect triangles that morning. Lily scowled. It does not smell bad. Does too. Ew, yuck. Ew, gross. That afternoon, the friends did not draw pictures together. They did not swing together, and they did not jump rope together either. How do you think both Selma and Lily are feeling right now? That's right, I think they have hurt feelings, don't they? They both said hurtful things to each other about each other's sandwiches. The next day, Selma ate her lunch at one table and Lily ate her lunch at another. Meanwhile, the peanut butter versus hummus story had spread and everybody began choosing sides. Each side had something not so nice to say to the other. Peanut butter breath, jelly heads, garlic breath, chickpea brains. Pretty soon, the rude insults had nothing at all to do with the peanut butter or hummus. You're weird. You're stupid. You look funny. You dressed them. And then it happened. Somebody yelled, food fight. Peanut butter and hummus sandwiches and other lunch favorites began flying back and forth between both sides of the lunchroom. They stuck to the walls. They stuck to the ceiling. They stuck to the lunch lady. When the sandwiches were all gone, 
pudding cups and applesauce and carrot sticks took flight. Salma and Lily looked at one another from across the rowdy, splattered room. They both felt ashamed by what they saw. They both felt really ashamed when the principal called them into her office after they had helped clean up the mess. The following day, Salma set her lunch down across from Lily's. The two girls nibbled on their sandwiches in silence. Finally, Lily got the courage to speak. Would you like to try a bit of my peanut butter and jelly? Salma, Salma grinned. Sure, why not? Would you like to try my hummus and pita? Lily laughed. I'd like that. On the count of three? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. And that's how it all began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and ended with a hummus and pita sandwich. And what did they learn, story time friends, on the count of three? There we go. I missed a page. I thought I did. So on the count of three, they said, hey, this is delicious and this is heavenly. The girls giggled and hugged and traded sandwiches. Mmm, yummy! After lunch, Selma and Lily met with the principal again. This time, they went there to suggest a very special event for the whole school. There we go, story time, friends. That's how it ended with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and it began and ended with a hummus and pita sandwich. That makes more sense when I don't skip a page, huh? So what kind of event did Salma and Lily put on? That's right, it looks like they made a potluck. And do you see the different flags in the different pieces of food? A potluck with food from around the world. That's a pretty cool event, isn't it, Storytime friends? And that is the sandwich swap. So, when Salma and Lily were brave and tried each other's food, it wasn't so yucky after all, was it? And that's really cool because lots of different cultures have lots of different kinds of food, and it's really fun to try different food. So if you ever have a friend that's eating something that looks kind of weird, just ask them about it, and maybe they'll share it with you. Because lots of food from different cultures are good, and it's so much fun to learn about and taste new foods. So I'm so glad Salma and Lily put on that special event for all of their friends and classmates so they could try that food too. Oh, well now story time friends, after reading both of those delicious books, I think I need to go get some food. So don't forget about our craft this week. Mm, this looks almost good enough to eat, doesn't it? The craft this week is a paper sandwich. So we have our bread, our lettuce, I added tomatoes and onions, and cheese, Swiss cheese with some holes in it. So story time friends, if you wanna make the paper sandwich craft for this week, just come in and ask about the preschool kits and that way you can make one of your own and you could put your own things in it. Maybe you can make a hummus and pita sandwich if you like that better, or a PB and J, all right? Well, thank you so much for reading with me today, and I hope you enjoy the craft. Go eat some good food this week, and I'm going to go eat some too, and I will see you next week. Next week, we are reading about friendship, okay? So I'll see you then. Take care, Storytime friends. Have a good week.